golden skin, a little fat, crispy and fragrant. These are the characteristics of mouth-watering crispy grilled pork. This is a traditional and popular dish in many countries around the world. The perfect combination of fresh pork belly and crispy yellow skin surprises and delights diners. Let's explore the unique beauty and delicate flavour of crispy grilled pork in this video's culinary adventure. For this dish, the choice of ingredients is very important. Not just any parts of pork can be used. In order for the dish to achieve the most perfect flavour, we should choose the pork belly located in the lower belly of the pig. Because this part has 3 to 5 lean and fat parts, which creates just the right amount of fat for the crispy grilled pork. You also need to pay attention to choosing meat parts that have a natural light pink colour, clear layers of meat and fat and no blood clots. This is the freshest, best quality pork meat. After obtaining high quality pork belly, next we will proceed with the preliminary processing steps that are needed before we can start cooking. The pork belly will be kept as large pieces of meat. We start the preparation by removing all hair as well as any remaining impurities on the pork skin and washing and draining the pork pieces. In order for the pork to observe the spices evenly, we can make some cuts in the pork. Once that's done, prepare the flavouring and spices to marinate the meat. Some indispensable flavourings when preparing the dish are salt, sugar pepper, five spice, grated garlic and white wine. Mix them all together into a marinade. Then rub this spice mixture evenly over the surface of the meat. Onto the pork skin, a layer of salt will be spread evenly, covering it completely. In some places, they also use a toothpick or needle to prick the entire surface of the leather and then lightly brush vinegar over the pinpricks. This helps to ensure that we will end up with an extremely attractive crispy pork clay. Marinate the meat for about 2 hours so that it can observe the spices evenly. When marinating, leave the skin facing up and keep the meat dry. Meanwhile, we will prepare the grill. Pork is grilled in specialized ovens with temperatures ranging from 180 to 200 degrees Celsius. After preparation, the pork is fixed on hangers and then placed in the preheated oven.
Note, during the grilling process, you need to add vinegar to the surface of the pork skin, which both helps keep it moist and allows the pork skin to reach the desired crispiness. Grill for 40 to 45 minutes for the meat to cook evenly. When the pork is golden brown and gives off an attractive aroma from the meat and flavorings, a unique crispy grilled pork dish is done. Cut the meat into bite-sized pieces and enjoy as soon as they can come out of the oven while they're still hot. Crispy grilled pork not only delivers delicious flavour but also provides high nutritional value and can be used in many different dishes. The dish is a valuable source of protein, providing essential amino acids for building and maintaining muscles, tissues and other systems in the body. In addition, pork also provides many important vitamins and minerals such as B vitamin, iron, zinc, magnesium and calcium which support a healthy nervous system and muscle, cardiovascular and bone function. With its natural sweetness and characteristic crispy skin, crispy grilled pork delivers a rich and attractive flavour conquering all diners right from the first time they enjoy it. It's not too difficult to prepare this wonderful dish. So what are you waiting for? Try it right away! As one of the three cities with the hottest climate in China, and given its position as the economic center of the country, Sichuan is famous for its cuisine, rich in flavor and the freshest ingredients. As a famous snack on the internet, crispy pork belly from Sichuan has successfully conquered diners with its rich flavor, attractive color and crispy skin. With sales of more than 1,600 pounds per day, what is it that makes Sichuan crispy pork belly so appealing? Join me in discovering the secret to this dish's success and why it's so popular. To get the best quality raw materials, Pigs are often raised on large farms and must be carefully looked after. This farm is typically divided into different areas such as barns, dining areas and exercise areas for the pigs. The barns are designed to ensure the best living conditions for pigs including ventilation, natural light and enough space to move.
For this dish, you should only choose pork belly located in the lower belly of the pig because this part has 3 to 5 layers of lean fat interwoven and all in one piece. Before processing, we will carry out preliminary processing steps including cleaning and marinating with spices. First, take a sufficient amount of salt and rub it on the pig skin for 15 minutes. Then use a sharp knife to scrape off impurities and remaining hair on the surface. Then wash and drain. Meanwhile, we will prepare a mixture of spices for marinating, including salt, sugar, chili powder, star anise powder, and especially the indispensable Sichuan pepper. Next, divide the meat into long pieces with a thickness of 2 to 3 centimeters and marinate with the previously prepared spice mixture. Spread the spices evenly on all surfaces and into every corner of the meat and then let it dry to help the meat absorb the flavor more evenly. During this step, use a razor to scrape the pig skin to prepare for the skin processing stage. To get that crispy skin, take a sufficient amount of salt and a sufficient amount of baking soda. Add a little water and stir well. Then brush this mixture onto the surface of the pigskin, repeat twice, and then set it aside to dry. After about 10 hours, the meat has hardened. Take the meat out and allow it to come to room temperature before grilling. Lightly apply a thin layer of oil and sprinkle a few sesame seeds to create a variety of flavors and increase the appeal of the dish. Once that's done, we'll take the pork bellies to grill. Depending on the type of oven as well as the size of the meat, Adjust the temperature accordingly. Bake the meat for 40 to 45 minutes to ensure the meat is cooked through evenly. Be careful to fix the pork skin so that it is flat, so that it will expand evenly. If the meat is unbalanced, the raised skin will expand first. If grilled for too long, it may burn. After grilling is complete, the result is an eye-catching yellow Sichuan crispy pork dish. When eaten, the skin is crispy, but the meat inside is still tender, succulent, not dry at all, and the seasoning is just fantastic. The spicy taste of pepper and chili, combined with the light sweetness from the sugar, creates a unique, rich and highly addictive flavor. The crispy skin, the saltiness from the salt and the spiciness from the chili peppers create one of the most special and unforgettable culinary experiences of Sichuan cuisine.
chicharron. Surely you have heard of this attractive dish, but few people know that the seemingly waste product pork skin can become the inspiration for such a wonderfully delicious dish. That's right, chicharron is not only a popular snack on the streets, but also an indispensable part of the cuisine of many countries, which is often eaten with rich sauces like salsa verde or sweet and sour fish sauce. Would you like to know how to prepare this unique dish? Please join me to find out in this video. The main ingredient to make chicharron is not pork, but the pork skin. To ensure the safety and quality of the dish, ingredients are imported directly from large farms. Here, every operation is carefully regulated and managed to ensure the safety, health and quality of both the pigs and pig products. The breeding area is carefully organized to provide pigs with the best growing conditions. After meeting the standards for export, the pigs will be taken to factories for processing. Using the chain system, pigs will be processed, cleaned and then divided into many different parts. From there, the next step is to classify the meat according to consumer needs. In particular, the pig skin will be collected and preserved to provide to Chicharon processing facilities. Making chicharron is not difficult. However, to create delicious chicharron, you must first choose the best pieces of pork skin. You should choose the skin of pigs of moderate maturity, neither too old nor too young, so that it is tough and soft enough. The skin of the tenderloin or rump has a thicker, flatter skin, a good option. Before processing, We'll prepare the pork skin with diluted salt water or wash it with lemon and rice wine to remove the odor. Use a clean razor or use tweezers to remove any remaining hair from the skin. Next, prepare boiling water, add the pork skin and cook. You can add a little ginger to make the pork skin more fragrant. Cook the pork skins for about seven to eight minutes until they are cooked through but do not cook for too long or the pork skin will break. After cooking, take the pork skin out and soak it in ice cold water to tighten the skin and make it crispier, as well as to keep the pork skin from turning dark. Then take it out and let it drain. Next, cut the pork skin into square or rectangular pieces of just the right size.
If you want crispy pork skin as a snack, you need to dry it until it is completely dry for about one to two days, depending on the temperature. The pork skin must be very dry and hard to create a crispy texture when fried. In addition, this also helps us to preserve pork skin for longer. At this point, we are ready to fry the pork skin. Prepare a pan of hot oil, then put the pork skin in and fry until it puffs up and turns golden on both sides. Then it's done. Chicharron is crispy and attractive with a characteristic rich fatty flavor. The dish is often eaten with spicy and sour sauces such as fish sauce mixed with lemon or vinegar mixed with chili, adding uniqueness. Pig skin also contains a large amount of collagen, which helps strengthen bones and is very good for skin, hair and nails. Collagen promotes skin cells to absorb and store water, helping the skin stay full of vitality and youthfulness every day. Pig skin is also rich in protein and carbohydrates that can supplement nutrients and improve the body's immunity. However, due to the production process, the amount of fat in chicharron is quite high, so you should eat this dish in moderation to avoid weight gain and health problems related to high cholesterol. Sour, spicy, salty, sweet. That's the great taste of traditional fried chicken in the land of kimchi. This dish is so famous that its name has spread far beyond national borders and reached many other countries around the world. It's still the crispy crust and the sweetness of the soft chicken inside, plus a layer of shiny sauce on the outside that looks both eye-catching and delicious. That's the reason Korean fried chicken stores can sell so much of it. 20 tons of chicken per month. But is this dish really that attractive? We invite you to follow along in this video to find out. With 20 tons of chicken meat consumed each month, chicken farms are an indispensable part of the chicken supply chain for processing plants. Here, all processes of raising and caring for chicken are carried out with care and professionalism. Each farm area is designed to be open and spacious, creating ideal conditions for the growth and health of chickens. Separate chicken coops are temperature and humidity controlled, plus provided with clean water and adequate food to ensure the chickens grow strong and healthy. After about three months of care, the chickens are now mature, ready for sale, and will be transferred to the processing plant. The process begins with slaughtering the chicken quickly and safely, followed by a thorough cleaning process to remove all impurities and some unnecessary parts such as feathers and internal organs. After sorting, the chicken is packaged and stored in cold storage to ensure the freshness and quality of the meat. Finally, it is brought to the consumer market. 
because it is such a large quantity, usually this chicken meat will be supplied to supermarkets or chicken stores in the area. The process of preparing traditional Korean fried chicken is very meticulous and requires skill from the chef. After receiving chicken meat from factories, they'll be washed again before processing and then drained. Then, the chicken is marinated with a spice mixture of salt, garlic powder, ground pepper and cooking wine for about 15 minutes to absorb the flavors. Next, we will prepare the fried dough mixture. Chicken fried dough is divided into two parts, dry dough, the crispy fried dough, and wet dough. The wet dough includes flour, cornstarch, and chicken powder. Put everything in a large bowl, then slowly add a sufficient amount of water and stir well. This powder recipe can vary depending on each restaurant's own recipe which is why the flavor of the chicken at each restaurant is different. Before frying the chicken, we will prepare the fryer with oil, boiled at a temperature of 170 degrees Celsius. After marinating the chicken pieces, mix them well with the wet flour, then continue to mix with the dry flour. Coat evenly on all surfaces of the chicken and then put them in the stove to fry until they turn golden brown. Then take them out and drain the oil. Frying time may vary depending on the size of each chicken piece. So we have a delicious piece of fried chicken right away. Nowadays, by using additional sauces such as hoisin sauce, honey or chili sauce, fried chicken has become much more attractive and varied, meaning you can enjoy it as much as you want without getting bored. Chicken is considered to be the healthiest source of protein because it has much less cholesterol than red meat such as pork and beef, helping to reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. The protein and calorie content of chicken will depend on the different pieces such as wings, breasts and thighs. Each piece will provide different nutrients from calories to protein and fat. However, fried chicken contains a large amount of fat, so regularly eating fried chicken can cause more harmful substances than nutrients to accumulate. These can have negative effects on your physical and mental health, increasing blood cholesterol and even causing uncontrolled weight gain. Beef jerky, one of the most popular snacks in North America. For thousands of years, drying has been used to preserve food in the absence of refrigeration. 
And to this day, this method has created countless wonderful dishes in the culinary world. The spicy, rich, delicious flavor of each dried beef fiber always makes you irresistible. To create such an attractive dish is an extremely elaborate process. We invite you to admire it in today's video. The beef chosen to prepare this dish is usually lean meat or beef tenderloin because it has low fat content. First, we will prepare the beef to completely remove excess fat. Wash and drain before cutting the meat. You can use specialized beef slicer to cut the meat. The beef is cut into equal thin slices with a thickness about 5 mm. This helps the meat after drying to not be too dry and still retain the softness of the meat. Next is the most important step in this production process, which is marinating and flavoring the meat. Put the cut meat in a large mixer, then add spices such as pepper, paprika, rosemary, and sauce. You can use sauce to create a unique flavor such as Worcestershire or teriyaki or soy sauce depending on the manufacturer's recipe. Mix the meat for about 1 hour and chill for about 24 hours so that the meat absorbs the spices. After marinating, the meat will be dried. This is the final step to create chewy beef jerky that makes us all fall in love. Hang the meat on stainless steel frames and make sure that there is a suitable distance between each piece of meat. When drying, it will help the meat dry evenly on all sides. These are non-specialized frames and can load about 100 kilograms of fresh beef in each drying session. Finally, put the meat in the oven and dry for the standard amount of time. A quality piece of dried beef will have moderate toughness, still retain the softness of the meat, and not lose the typical flavor of beef. After drying, the meat is cut into small pieces then packaged, preserved, and transported to consumers.